This glossary of entomology describes terms used in the formal study of insect species by entomologists. Topic AC Abdomen body of the insect toward the posterior of the thorax. Acanthosthorn-like projection, typically a single-celled cuticular growth without tormagen, socket or sensory cells. A carisidae a chemical employed to kill and control mites and ticks. A carifagus feeding on mites also refers to parasitoids of mites. Accessory glandany secondary gland of the glandular system. Accessory pulsatile organs APOs, small muscular pumps and the veins that accompany them that pump hemolymph into the wings. Acetylcholine alternative spelling of acetylcholine. Acrostical bristles the two rows of hairs or bristles lying one on either side of the midline of the thorax of a true fly. Active space the space within which the concentration of a pheromone or other behaviorally active substance is concentrated enough to generate the required response, remembering that like light and sound pheromones become more dilute the further they radiate out from their source. Aculeate hymenoptera. Any member of a group of families that include the familiar stinging ants, bees, and social and hunting wasp. Acuminate tapering to a long point. Acalioria class of insect growth regulators. Adectacusoff pupa, the state in which the pupa does not possess movable mandibles, the opposite being decticus. Adipocytes a major cell type of insects that stores fat body and reserves nutrients. Admarginal adjective, along the margin. Adigus sclerotized terminal portion of the male genital tract that is inserted into the female during insemination. Its shape is often important in separating closely related species. Estivation summer dormancy, entered into when conditions are unfavorable for active life i.e. it is too hot or too dry. Age polyethism the regular changing of roles of colony members as they get older. Air sacca dilated portion of a trachea. Alar squamath middle of three flap-like outgrowths at the base of the wing in various flies. Allery muscles muscles along the dorsal diaphragm that may perform circulation. Allotath parthenogenetic winged morph of vividae, specialized for migration. Allotwinged, having wings. Aldrin, common name. A synthetic insecticide, a chlorinated hydrocarbon of not less than 95% 1, 2, 3, 4, 10, 10 HEXACHLORO1, 4, 4 A, 5, 8, 8 A HEXAHYDRO1, 4 to 5, 8 dimethanonaphthalene, moderately toxic to mammals, acute oral LD, for rats 44 mg per kilogram, phytotoxicity, none when properly formulated, but some crops are sensitive to solvents in certain formulations. Algophagy feeding on algae. Aliphatica term applied to the open chain or fatty series of hydrocarbons. Alitrunk name given to the thorax and propodium of wasp wasted hymenopterans. Alloparental when individuals other than the parent assist in the caring for that parent's offspring. Allopatric two or more forms of a species having essentially separate distributions. Alternating generations when two generations are produced within a life cycle each producing individuals of only one sex, either male first and then female or vice versa. Altruistic self-destructive, or potentially self-destructive behavior performed for the benefit of others. Alula broad lobe at the proximal posterior margin of the wing stock of diptera also termed the axillary lobe. Ambrosia fungus cultivated by wood-boring beetles of the family Scalididae Ametabolate insects which develop without metamorphosis, namely the Protera, Thysanura, and Calembola Amity compound derived from carboxylic acids by replacing the hydroxyl of the COOH by the amino group, NH2 Aminian organic compound containing nitrogen, derived from ammonia, NH3, by replacing one or more hydrogen atoms by as many hydrocarbon radicals. Amino acid organic compounds that contain the amino NH2 group and the carboxyl COOH group. Amino acids are the 
building stones of proteins. Ammonia colorless alkaline gas, NH3, soluble in water. Anal pertaining to last abdominal segment which bears the anus. Anal angle the posterior corner of the wing, same as tornus. Anal fold a fold in the inner margin of the hindwing. Anal valves exposed claspers at the end of the abdomen. Anaplasmosis infection with anaplasma, a genus of sporozoa that infests red blood cells. Anasa wilta wilt disease of cucurbits caused solely by the feeding of the squash bug, no parasitic microorganism involved. Androconia singular equals androconium. In male butterflies, specialized wing scales, often called scent scales, possessing special glands which produce a chemical attractive to females. Androconium or androconia plural specialized microscopic scales on the wings of male butterflies, believed to be scent scales for attracting the female. Annulate formed in ring-like segments or with ring-like markings. Anemic deficient in blood quantity or quality. Anticlypius lower anterior portion of the clypeus of insects. Antennae long feelers situated on the head and close to the eyes. They are however not tactile but used for detecting airborne scents and currents. In Papilionoidea the antennae end in bulging tips called clubs. In Hesperioidea they have hooked tips and the club is found just before the tip. In some Lycenidae like the genus Lyphira the antenna tapers gradually. Antenation touching with the antenna. Antenniferous bearing antennae, as in antenniferous tubercle. Antenomeria segment of an antenna. The term antenomere is used in particular when the segments are fairly uniform, as in filiform antennae, but it also may be used in referring to segments of odd sizes, shapes and functions, such as the scape and pedicel. More specific terms may be used where there are distinct antennal regions, for example flagellomeres are the antenomeres comprising the flagellum. Anterior in front of or after the aforementioned structure. Antinodal vein small cross veins at the front of the dragonfly or damselfly wing, between the wing base and the notus. Anthophagy feeding on flowers. Antibiosis an association between two or more organisms that is detrimental to one or more of them. Anticoagulina substance antagonistic to the coagulation of blood. Anist posterior opening of the digestive tract. Apex, apical or the anterior corner of the wing. Apical cell the first posterior cell in the wing of diptera. It is the space between the third and fourth longitudinal vein beyond the anterior crossvine R5. Aphidophagy feeding on aphids and parasitoids of aphids. Apotherapy medicinal use of the honey bee or its products. Archelusa crossvine between the radius and cubitus near the base of the wing in certain insects. Areola 1, a small ring of color 2. In crayfish, the hourglass pattern on the dorsal surface of the cephalothorax a pad-like median lobe between the tarsal claws. Base – basal area of wingregion close to the point of attachment to the thorax. Brandraised area on the wing surface, circular, ovate, or elongated, which is covered with special scent scales or androconia, found in males of some species. Also called sex mark. Bryophagy feeding on moss. Capitate Mainly referring to antennae, but occasionally to other anatomical features such as palps, having a clubbed shape with a relatively long, slender stem, but with an abruptly bulkier, thicker, possibly globular distal head, the capitulum. The term capitate is not strictly distinguished from clavate, but where a distinction is desired, it is that the club of a capitate antenna is abruptly distinct from the shaft, and the head tends to be short and more or less globular. The club of a clavate antenna generally is a more or less tapered thickening, sometimes hardly distinct from the shaft. Capitulum The head of a capitate structure, such as a capitate antenna, or of a capitate halter. Carina keel like elevation or ridge on the body wall of an insect. Kerpophagy feeding on fruits and seeds. Catenulate markings consisting of rings connected together like a chain. Catenulated antenna antenna with ringed appearance, self-central area surrounded by veins. 
It can be closed by veins or open. The vein forming the boundary of the cell along the coastal margin is known as the subcostal vein Q, V. The vein forming the lower boundary towards the dorsum is called the median vein. In the case of butterflies, the cell is closed by a vein connecting the origins of veins 6 to 4 along the top of the cell which is known as discocellular vein. Cell cup taxonomically important term used in diptera identification keys. Part of the schema of wing venation. Also called the posterior cubital cell and often called the anal cell. See file, phytomycinae wing veins 1. SVG. Ceratophagy, also spelled keratophagy, feeding on cornified tissues and hair of animals. Cervix, anatomical feature, the structure defining the neck of the insect. Chaitasi seta, chalazon, external spine that has a single point. Etymology: Greek chalasa, a tubercle. Cf. Scolus, which has multiple points. Chaitasi seta, ciliophene hairs along the edges of the wing. Clasper or clasp A structure in male insects that is used to hold the female during copulation. Clava Same as clavis Clavate Mainly referring to antennae, but occasionally to other anatomical features such as palps, having a clubbed shape with a relatively long, slender stem, but with a bulkier, thicker distal end, the clava. The term clavate is not strictly distinguished from capitate, but in general, where a distinction is desired, the club of a capitate antenna is abruptly distinct, even globular, whereas the club of a clavate antennae is generally a more or less tapered thickening. Claviform stigma specifically, in noctidae moths, and elongate spot or mark extending from the anterior transverse anterior line through the submedian interspace, toward and sometimes to the posterior transverse line. Clavola Same as clavis or club Clavis 1. The thicker distal end of a clavate anatomical structure such as an antenna. Usually comprising more than one joint. Also called clava, clavola, or club 2. The posterior of the portion of the rimigium found on insect wings. 3. The oblong sclerite at the base of the inferior margin of the hemilotron in Heteroptera. 4. The knob at the end of the stigmal or radial veins in the wings of certain Hymenoptera. Club the popular, possibly to be preferred, name for the clavis of a clavate antenna. Clippius anatomical feature, a sclerite structure below the fronds, circumposed by the mandibles and above the labrum. Coxidophagy feeding on scale insects and parasitoids of scale insects. Compound I and I consisting of a large number of individual photoreceptor units or omatidia, omatidium, singular, figure 2D below. Connexivum or connexiva, plural, largely in heteroptera and similarly dorsoventrally flattened insects, the edge of the abdomen, containing the connection between the tergite and sternite. May be visible from above in species such as many of the regiviidae. Copromycetophagy inhabiting feces and consuming mycetes growing inside or cultivating them for feeding. Coprophagy feeding on the excrements of animals. Costa, coastal or ruth leading edge of the wing. Coastal break taxonomically important term used in diptera identification keys. Part of the schema of wing venation, weakenings of the costa, 1 to 3 in number. They are flexing points for the wings during flight. Coronal suture, anatomical feature, an anterior suture line of the head between the compound eyes, below the median ocellus. Coxifers leg segment, between body and trochanter. Cremaster a general term for a structure by which an object hangs, from Greek language kremastos, meaning, hung up. For example in entomology, in some Lepidoptera, including most butterflies, the pupa attaches to a surface by the cremaster, a structure at the tip of the pupal abdomen. The cremaster is the homologue of the anal plate of the caterpillar. It takes various forms in different species, ranging from a simple point, to various arrangements of hooks that catch Velcro like in a silken pad that the caterpillar spins on the surface before it enters the prepupal phase. Crenulatagective equals scalloped. Describes the outer edge of a wing that is convex at the end of each vein and concave in between.
Kunuznun equals wedge. Particularly in myrid bugs, a wedge-shaped section of the hemolytra forewings, located at the apex of the thick, leathery part of the wings equals Topic DF equals Decticus functional mandibles present in pupal state. Dendrophagy feeding on trees. Dentate is for crenulate but with the projections at the end of each wing being tooth-like. Detritophagy feeding on ground remains of plants and animals. Disc discal aruth central band passing through the cell. Discoidal cell in damselflies, Zygotera, a basal quadrangular cell in the wing venation, which is delimited by veins MA, anterior side, MP, posterior side, MAB, distal side, and the arculus, basal side. Dorsum, dorsal aruth trailing edge or hind margin of the wing, extending from the base to the tornus. Dorsal alternately, also refers to the back, i.e. the upper part of the body, from above. Ectognathus anatomical feature, having exterior mouthparts, or exposed. A defining feature of insects. Elytron anatomical feature, the modified, hardened forewing of certain insect orders, notably beetles Coleoptera, and some of the true bugs Hemiptera. Emarginate anatomical feature, describing a margin, such as the edge of an eye or sclerite, where the outline includes a concave section as if a part of the region had been cut out or displaced. It might take the form of a notch, or a rounded or possibly quadrate hollow, such as where a compound eye is distorted in fitting around the base of the antenna. Empodium anatomical feature, either a bristle-like or pad-like structure between the tarsal claws of various insects, notably diptera. Encapsulation the immuno-response by plasmatocytes to the presence of parasitoid egg or larva which results in the formation of a multilayered capsule that causes the parasitoid to suffocate or starve. Entomonocrophagy feeding on dead arthropods. Entomophagy feeding on other insects. Epicranius anatomical feature, the top of the anterior structure of the head, or forehead. Apiprict anatomical feature, a plate or projection dorsal to the anus in certain insects, generally on abdominal segment X or 11. For example in Archaeognatha and Zygentoma it takes the form of a long, rearwardly directed organ resembling the two cherchi that flank it. In the Odonata apiprics have various functions, both in larvae, in which they may have respiratory roles, and in adults, in which they may have reproductive roles. Not all epiprics in all insect species are homologous. Note that the term is used in other groups than insects as well, for instance Myriapoda. Erect the palpi when vertical, i.e. the axis of the palpi is at right angles to the axis of the body. Exarate pupae with their legs and other appendages free and extended. Eye spots 1. Spots or other patterns resembling vertebrate eyes on the skin, such as on larvae of some sphingidae or the wings of moths such as many Saturniidae. Such eye spots have no visual function, but act variously to misdirect or discourage attacks from predators. 2. Simple eyes such as achelae or stemata. Face the area between the base of antennae, oral margin, eyes and cheeks jenna. See figure 3. Fascia, plural fasciae, a color pattern with a broad band. Femur third leg segment, between trochanter and tibia. Flagellomere and antennomere comprising part of the flagellum. Flagellum the part of the antenna distal to the pedicel composed of one or more segments, called flagellomeres. Foramen magnum, anatomical feature, the posterior opening of the head capsule, covered by the cervix. Forewing anatomical feature, the pair of wings of a four-winged insect closest to the head. Fronds anatomical feature, the frontal area of an insect's head. It covers the upper part of the face above the clypeus and below and between the antennae. It supports the pharyngeal dilator muscles and usually bears an ocellus. Frontal sutures anatomical feature, suture lines that meet with the coranal sutures to form an inverted Y. Topic. GL 
Jenna anatomical feature, the area below the compound eyes, the insect equivalent to human cheeks. Geniculatilbode. From the Latin for a bended knee, referring to an organ of a type not always expected to be kinked, but having a definite angular bend or hinge. In entomology the term typically refers to an elbowed antenna. For instance, many species of Hemiptera, Coleoptera, and Hymenoptera have markedly geniculate antennae. Girdle strand of silk used to prop up the pupa. Found especially in the Papillionidae. Glabra smooth, without hairs or scales. Gula ventral head sclerite which supports the submentum. Helminthophagy feeding on worms classified with helminths including parasitoids of helminths. Hemocylth interior of the insect's anatomy, including all organs and hemocyte. Hemocyte or hemolympha fluid in the circulatory system of insects containing nutrients, fat, water, etc. Hemophagy feeding on blood. Hindwing anatomical feature, the pair of wings of a four-winged insect farthest from the head. Hyaline transparent, like glass. Hygropetric mode of life, living in the thin film of water on wet rocks. Hyponothau shaving mouthparts that are ventured of a vertically oriented head, or having an under bit. Hypopharynx mouthpart. A tongue-like lobe on the floor of the mouth. Idiobionta form of parasitism where the parasitoid paralyzes or leaves the host unable to continue development at oviposition. Amago, plural as usually imagines. The final, or adult, stage in metamorphosis. Interspace the region between adjacent veins. Irrorated or irroration old term used usually to indicate a sprinkling of scales interspersed among scales typically of a different color. Keratophagy, also spelt ceratophagy, feeding on cornified tissues and hair of animals. Coinobionta form of parasitism where the parasitoid lives inside the host while allowing it to live after oviposition. Labium mouthpart forming the lower lip. Bears the labial palps. Labrum anatomical feature, the anterior structure below the clypeus covering some of the mouthparts, sometimes called the upper lip. Lichenophagy feeding on lichens. Lines of weakness anatomical feature, the suture lines where the integument will split to allow for molting. Lunulia body area or marking roughly in the shape of a crescent. Topic. M O Macrocatalarge bristles and scales. Macroteris having long or large elytra, as long, or longer than the abdomen. Malacophagy feeding on mollusks, and parasitoids of mollusks. Maxilla mouthpart. The maxillae are paired and arranged behind the mandibles. May bear palps. See figures 1 and 3. Membranulia a small triangular opaque region at the base of the hindwing in some dragonflies. Mesothorax the middle segment of the thorax, between the prothorax and the metathorax. Metalmark small metallic looking spots commonly found on the wings of Rhyodinidae. Metathorax the third and last segment of the thorax after the mesothorax. Microteris having short elytra, shorter than the abdomen. Myxomycetophagy feeding on myxomycetes fungus. Myiasis infestation of fly larvae on or in a vertebrate host. Mycetophagy feeding on fungus. Necrophagy consuming of dead animals and their remains. Nervure older term for vein. Adnervoral refers to instance lines running adjacent and alongside the veins. Notice of odonata, a prominent cross vein near the center of the leading edge of a wing. Also called node. Obtect appendages fused or glued to the body. Occipital suture, anatomical feature, the structure that defines the occiput. See Figure 1 below. Occiput insect, anatomical feature, the region posterior to the vertex on the head. See Figure 2 below. Ocular structure, anatomical feature, the structure of the head containing the achelae. Onishiforma woodlouse shaped, flattened platyform appearance of a larva. Oophagy feeding on eggs. 
Epistognathus with receding mouthparts, or having mouthparts that slope backward or face backward. Orbicular stigma a marking placed between the reniform stigma and the thorax, usually circular in shape. Osmaterium fleshy structure on some larvae, often discharging odorous chemicals. Oviposition the act of laying eggs. Oviscapy part of the ovipositor is visible when not in action, then the basal visible portion, typically tubular, is the oviscape. For examples, see females of many tephrididae and pyrgotidae cf scape. Ovipositor structure by which many insects place their eggs, sometimes by piercing or slitting the host or substrate in which she lays the eggs. The structure may be tubular and may have valves. Ozadenae a stink gland or repugnatorial gland, from which an animal such as an insect or myriapod may release a foul-smelling liquid or gas for defense. Ozoporoth opening of an ozadene, a stink gland or repugnatorial gland. Topic. PR Palinophagy feeding on pollen Parasitoid parasite that develops attached to or within a host organism in a relationship which ultimately kills the host Pedicel the second segment antenomere of the antenna. See figure 3. Pedipalp or labial palpi or palpi, comparatively large processes that originate from below the head and curve forward in front of the face that sometimes appear like a beak, LP on the figure right. Floeophagy feeding on bark. Philophagy feeding on leaves. Phytophagy feeding on plants. Pluridia sclerotized region on the lateral part of an insect segment, bearing the spiracle, and separating and connecting the tergite and the sternite. Compare, pulmonarium. Pollenophagy feeding on pollen. Perectha palpi when horizontally projecting in front of the face. In this case, the axis of the palpi is parallel to the axis of the body. Postclipius the upper proximal portion of the clipius of insects. Posterior in a position behind or below the aforementioned. Postoccipital suture, anatomical feature, the structure posterior to the occipital suture, surrounding foramen magnum or occipital magnum. Proboscistubular feeding and sucking organ. Proclinate directed or leaning forward, such as in bristles in particular locations of insects' heads. Prognathal shaving mouth parts dorset of a dorsally oriented head or overbite. Proleg fleshy leg-like structures arising from the abdominal segments of caterpillars. These prolegs have crochets or curved hooks. Prothorax the first segment on the thorax anterior to the mesothorax. Pterostigma, plural pterostigmata, the prominent cell, usually opaque and colored, near the tip of each wing of the odonata, on the anterior margin, also, more loosely, called stigma. Pterothorax the meso and metathorax of winged insects, that carries the two pairs of wings. Pulmonarium plural pulmonaria, a membranous instead of a sclerotized connection or pleurite between the abdominal tergites and sternites of certain groups of insects, in such species the pulmonaria bear the spiracles. The term also refers to an abdomen in which the connection between the tergal and sternal sclerites takes the form of a pulmonarial membrane. Compare, pleurite. Reniform stigma and oval or kidney-shaped mark on the forewing at the disc Lepidoptera. Repugnatorial, generally in combination as in repugnatorial glands, defensive, or fighting back, in particular as applied to an ozadine, a gland that can release irritant, poisonous, alarming or distasteful fluids or gases when an organism is under threat. Examples of repugnatorial glands include the osmaterium of larvae of the Papilionidae, the stink glands of most Heteroptera, the ozadines of Apiliones, the odoriferous glands of Diplopata, and others. Rhizophagy feeding on rhizomes. Topic S Z. Saltatorial adapted for leaping or jumping. Sarconecrophagy feeding on dead bodies of vertebrates. Saprimycetophagy inhabiting decaying matter and consuming mycetes growing inside or cultivating them for feeding. Saprophagy feeding on decaying organic matter. 
scape the proximal segment of the antenna. See Figure 3. Schisophagy feeding on ground remains of plants and animals. Scalusin external spine having multiple points. Etymology, Greek skolos, a prickle. Cf. Chalaza. Plural, scoli. Sensolatin term meaning, in the sense of. Sequestering the process of animals accumulating poisonous compounds from the food they are eating in order to become poisonous themselves for their predators. Pyrolizidine alkaloid sequestration refers to the sequestration of one such class of poisonous compounds. Seta stiff chitinous or sclerotized hair or bristle. Also cheta, cheta. Cetaceous. Being like or having the nature of a seta or of setae. Cetos. Cetosbearing, or covered in setae. Cetulat diminutive of seta. A small chitinous hair or bristle. Cetulose bearing, or covered in cetuli. Spherical respiratory openings on the thorax and abdomen that allow air to enter the trachea. Sporophagy feeding on mycet spores. Stigma, plural stigmata. Prominent cells on the forewings of some moths. Their size, shape and color can be useful in identifying some species. Also the prominent cell, usually opaque and colored, near the tip of each wing of the odonata, on the anterior margin, also called pterostigma. Strigy patterns with thin lines. Subcostataxonomically important term used in diptera identification keys. Part of the schema of wing venation. The second longitudinal wing vein, posterior to the costa. It may reach the costa, fade before the costa or join R1 before it reaches the costa, C2 equals auxiliary vein of many authors. Subgonal suture, anatomical feature, suture lines below the genna. Simpliciomorphia shared ancestral, primitive, character state that cannot be used to demonstrate the monophily of a group. Synapomorphia shared homologous and derived character state evolutionary novelty that demonstrates the monophily of a group clade. Synovogenica form of reproduction in which the female continues to produce and to mature eggs throughout its life cycle. Tarsus plural tarsi fifth last leg segment, the part that touches the walking surface. Terment the edge of the wing most distant from the body. Terminal and marginal along the margin. Thorax the part of the body that lies between the head and the abdomen. It has three parts, prothorax, mesothorax and metathorax. Tibia fourth leg segment, between femur and tarsus. Tomentuma pubescence consisting of soft, entangled hairs pressed close to the surface of the integument. Tornus, tornal a rud posterior corner of the wing. Trochanter second leg segment, between coxa and femur. Trophith mouthparts of arthropoda such as insects, typically labrum, mandible, maxilla, labium. Trophist singular form of trophy, rarely used. Uncate hook-like, as in the mouthparts of many fly larvae. Also uncinate. Uncinate hook-like, as in the mouthparts of many fly larvae. Also uncate. Unguis, plural ungus, the claws at the tip of most insect pretarsi. Urita segment or part of the abdomen in insects. Urotergite plate on the dorsal upper surface of an abdominal segment in insects. Valve one of several appendages that combine to form the ovipositor of a typical female insect. Valviferin female heteroptera valvifers comprise four blades, one pair on each of abdominal segments 8 and 9. They articulate with the paratergites and bear their corresponding valvuli. Valvula one of four blades in a female hemipteran with a lacinate type of ovipositor, that combine to form the ovipositing mechanism. Vein hollow structures formed from the coupling of the upper and lower walls of the wing. They provide both rigidity and flexibility to the wing. See also Comstock Needham system. Vertex anatomical feature. The apex of the head, usually containing a celli. Villisse covered with numerous thick set, slender projections resembling short hairs. Worker insects within social colonies, bees, wasps, ants, and termites that usually do not reproduce and instead perform most of the colony's tasks. 
xylomycetophagy inhabiting wood and consuming mycetes growing in wood or cultivating them for feeding. Xylophagy feeding on wood. Zoomycetophagy feeding on fungus found on other animals. Zoophagy feeding on animals, and or animal matter. Topic. Figures Topic. See also Anatomical terms of location Butterfly Caterpillar Comstock Needham system External morphology of Lepidoptera Glossary of ant terms Glossary of spider terms Glossary of scientific names Insect wing Pupa